We're here at the Crescent Dune Solar Energy Project that utilizes molten salt for energy storage. Given that the plant is the first of its kind of this technology in the world, there's an urgency to get this plant up and running. It's a very exciting opportunity to bring new technology online. The construction period from first shovel in the ground to kind of electricity delivery to the homes is about a 30 month process. We have about 600 construction workers on site, all working very long shifts to complete the process. We've completed all the heavy civil work and all the pieces are in place. My name is Emily and I'm a resident of Tonopah, Nevada. I work out here at the Solar Reserve and we assemble the heliostats. Right now we're standing in the heliostat assembly area. It's similar to any kind of car assembly plant. The frames come from the back of the shop and we assemble the mirrors at the front. The final part of the assembly is the calibration process. There are screws in the backing plate of the heliostat mirror and these screws are adjusted by technicians in the assembly process to bring this calibration of this mirror into tolerances within a, a millimeter. Once the heliostat has completed the calibration process, it is rolled out of the building, loaded on a trailer and delivered out to the field behind me. Once it meets its position, it takes approximately 11 minutes to install. The heliostat mirrors have been given, you know, fairly rigorous testing, ice, hailstorms, wind, sand, dust, that sort of thing, and they will go for the life of the plant. The size of the facility really is dictated by the efficiencies of the edge of the mirror. You really look at the economics on it. building one more ring of mirrors, are you getting enough electricity or enough energy out of that to justify making it bigger? Probably one of the more significant challenges in building these power plants, they were built in remote areas. So logistics become a big piece of the puzzle in actually getting the delivery and the people to the site to, to install the equipment. How can we do it more cost effectively? What, what can we do on the next project? This technology really is designed for large-scale facilities, utility size. We do have uh, scaled-down versions that we're looking at for large industrials. Once we go into commercial operation, we'll have a whole new set of lessons learned that we'll be able to capitalize on to get to that next facility and continue to get our cost curve going down to meet future energy demand.